Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iPhone 4 on 4.3 and I'm going to be using the GM in this video. So, um, first off I want to say this is not the best quality and this is not the easiest way to do, but this is pretty much the first video I've seen. I've been trying all day, everything. It's not working on the Mac, so this is obviously going to be on the PC. So what you're going to need to do first is get this file which is the iPhone um, 4 4.3 custom uh, firmware and you're gonna need to make this and in the description there'll be a post which will show you how to get this one file it'll be really descriptive of how to get it once you have that you'll be set with that this comes from this which I'll show you previous on and this is a new folder I made I'll show you also so the first step is to on a PC hit shift restore and find um, I'm really not good with a PC. Go to the desktop, find the custom fir firmware, and hit open and re. Uh, my bad. Hit open and restore with this firmware. You'll be on 4.3 when you do this. Wh when you do that, you'll be on version 4.3, but Cydia won't work, and um, I'm I know it's not going to work because it's only working tethered. So how you're going to boot up your device is a bit tricky. And I cannot get it to work on the Mac um, currently, but we'll be, trying to, we'll be trying to do that as quick as you can. So how you're going to do this is you're going to need a lot of things. First, I, ad I advise you to make a folder. Mine is called JB, call it anything you want, and it's going to need primarily, or it's going to need these three files. So what we're going to do to get them is this one right here is the first one we're going to need. It's just a download. The next two you're going to have to get from your... Um, from your firmware. What you're going to do is turn this into a zip. I'm not 100% sure even how to do that on a PC, but once, uh, but I'm sure people that are doing this video know how. Once you turn that into a zip, you can unzip it and um, turn it into this file. When you open it, you'll have all the contents of the folder. So we're going to open up the JB and what you're going to need is the kernel cache release uh, 9 uh, n90 which you can see is this file so just I'm sorry I don't have enough room but you're just going to drag this file over to the other one and you'll have the second file now all you need is the ibss what you're going to do is go into the firmware folder I was just talking about hit firmware hit um, yes, DFU, and you'll see the IBB, uh, IBSS. Now you're just going to drag that file into the other folder, and you'll have your three files that you need for the next step. So I'm stressing that you need to do it this way. You can't just download these because it's separate for each version. Uh, if you want to do this for another device, I believe the iPod Touch 4th generation can do it. Don't take my word for it, but you can get the you can get the custom firmware for that and do it like so. So once you have these three, you're going to move on to the next step. This is a little harder, but I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. What you're going to do is open up command prompt. Now you'll see my command prompt. What you're going to need to do is drag in the tethered boot. Yes, that's it. Now, on the command prompt, you're going to type space dash i. And now you're going to go back to your folder and you're going to drag in the ibss and then you're going to do space dash k. Now, what you're going to need to do is put in the kernel cache and you'll put that in just like that. And now, what you're going to do is hit enter. Make sure you're focused on the command problem so it doesn't give you errors which we're trying to open a file with the finder which doesn't work. So once you're in there you're just going to hit enter and I'm going to show you the footage of me doing this. I did this before and I can't really do it again without messing everything up. So I'll be just basically cutting onto that footage and this is what it should look like. Hopefully this is in depth as possible. We'll be making more videos when this make is easier. This is pretty much the first. We just want to get this out there. We want to show you that you can jailbreak 4.3 and I have my iPhone down there but you can't see it in my my camera's on tripod you're gonna hit enter and then it's gonna ask you to be in the DFU mode 
So I'm going to hold um, the combination to turn to DFU mode, and I'm going to do that right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now eventually it's going to start because I'm holding the second button, and we'll wait for action, and hopefully this will work. And there we go, this is um, flashing white on the iPhone right now, and um, hopefully this will work because I've tried it pretty much countless times today. Now this changed again, and I'll go back to the iPhone. So it says iTunes has detected a recovery mode, and now this is beaming another thing the device and that seems to be done now we're gonna go back to the device and fingers crossed that this is going to work And oh my god, it just worked. I spent pretty much all uh, a lot of di my day doing this, and it's uh, failed countlessly because I tried it on a, a Mac. It worked on a PC for me. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's something with my USB. Anyways, you can see that I am in version 4.3, as seen right there. And now when you go to Cydia, it actually boots, which is amazing. So we're going to choose user. And uh, I want to apologize for this quality. I've been filming everything, and I've been uh, so sick of of doing that that um, I've haven't been doing the best. I'm gonna be completing the tutorial tutorial from the beginning because I haven't done that now. Thanks for watching, and if this helped, please subscribe. We'll be updating it with easier and better jailbreaks in the future. That's about it, and thanks for watching.